Let's explore in this video the options that are open to us for something called build plate adhesion, which is in this area of the recommended print setup um, settings. And what does that mean? Well, with 3D printing, it's very much like building a house. The better the foundations that you lay down, the stronger the house will be. And in 3D printing, the better the quality and the adhesion of the first layer to the build plate the more likely you're going to get a successful 3D print at the end of it. So what's on the screen here at the moment is a mobile phone case and this is the orientation that you would build that case in in order to get the best possible quality. You wouldn't build it flat onto the build platform, you'd actually build it in this upright orientation. Now the problem with that is apparent when you flick to the layers view and if I do that and zoom in what you can see is the area that's in contact with the build plate on this very first layer is actually really quite small. So we've got some very small foundations for this 3D print and it's actually quite a tall uh, print that we're producing. So there's a possibility with this that it may topple over towards the top of the print so we might get a failure part way through. Now at the minute we've got no build plate adhesion options set so all the printer is actually doing is this here, which is called a skirt. It's an extrusion that gets put around the outline of the model, really just to check that everything's fine with the 3D print head before it actually starts the main 3D print. You'll notice it's not actually connected to the actual foot, uh, footprint of the model itself. So this is just a test run um, to make sure everything's working fine with the 3D printer before it starts this first layer. So it's not actually helping build plate adhesion in any way. Now what we probably want to do with this is click on the build plate adhesion option um, within the recommended print settings, allow Cura to now slice that with a build plate adhesion uh, set for it and once it's generated the layers view you should see what a uh, brim will look like. A brim is a single layer thickness island that gets put around the model that's actually connected to the model itself. So now you can see that on the screen. You can see about eight layers uh, or eight um, laps of the model being done by the printer to create what's called a brim. That's actually increasing the footprint now of that very first layer of the 3D print. The red, the green and the yellow are the actual print and this light blue is what's called the brim. Now that can stabilise the print. Uh, it's a single layer thickness, it generally prints quite quickly and when you strip it off it comes away generally quite cleanly but sometimes can leave some sharp areas that you might need to clean up with a, with a sharp knife. So there is another option available to you called raft. Now raft is found under the custom settings. If I click on custom settings you'll see there's a build plate adhesion area and I'm currently set on brim. I can actually change the width of this brim so if 3mm isn't enough I can increase it or I can decrease it. But under the brim uh, option there's an ability to change to something called raft. And when I change to raft then Cura is going to slice that model now and create a raft underneath my model. Now in the case of a raft we don't start printing the model directly onto the glass surface. What it's going to do first is create a much larger island uh, of support area before it actually starts the 3D print itself. So you'll see that in a second when the layers view generates and now you can see this blue area is a much bigger footprint now, but if I slide the slider down to the first layer, you see the very first layer, this is this very coarse grid. It then puts on a slightly finer uh, grid on top of it, and then it starts to build your model on top of that. So you can see here that the model isn't uh, building any more directly onto the glass surface. It's now building on a, a big island of material that the uh, software has generated. Now this is probably the option that I would choose for printing this mobile phone case. Um, it's going to make this very stable. And the advantage of a raft is it's actually quite easy to remove at the end of the, uh, the build. It actually peels away quite easily. The downside to raft is that it generally uses more material and it does increase your print time. 
So it's something you need to consider whether you need any build uh, plate adhesion, uh, whether that if you do it needs to be a brim or whether it needs to be a raft. It's an option down to yourself that you can look at once you understand what uh, kind of footprint you've got and what's the best chance of creating that very successful first layer for your 3D print.